In this video, we are going to show you three of the easiest mods you can do on any Mini Cooper. Literally anyone could do it. So, I got one of my friends that knows nothing about cars to come and help me. What's a car? Is this a car? I like cars, I'm just not very carly inclined. We are replacing um, the little stick on the top. So you just unscrew, righty tighty, lefty loosey. In this bag, got the thin one. And you put the thick end in the other stick, the short stick, and then you put it where the long stick was. Doesn't that look so much better? So now when you lift up this, it folds into it super snugly. Also, when you're just driving down the road, you don't have something that makes the car look like an RC car sticking out the top. So, huge improvement already. And uh, on to the next one. And now you have this long stick. All right, so the next mod that we're gonna do is a little bit harder, and we are going to add the little mini puddle light logo when you open the door at night. So it's super easy. All basically what you're doing is putting these little projectors on the bottom of your door. You can get these LED projectors at any mini dealership, or we have links down below for hopefully are the cheapest for you. All right, let's get them on. I've always wanted to unbox something on camera. The picture is a lot more satisfying. Look at that, that looks so good. So these projectors have two logos that you can switch out. The one that automatically goes in it is the uh, mini logo. That's what we're gonna use. But if you want to, you can get the JCW logo and that just kind of swaps in. Take this off, there you go. And then this will come right out, perfect. And then all you have to do, lift this up, and then this little piece will come out right here. And that's where you'd put the JCW one in. But we're not gonna do that, so we're gonna put it back together carefully. Ooh, that's cool. LED diode down there. So that's how you switch out between JCW and the mini logos. First of all, trim removal. And because uh, I promised that anyone would be able to do this, Jake, give me the camera. All right, so we're getting my friend to do this. Oh yeah. Just to well, show that you, it's easy. How do you... Not that, no, not taking it all off. Wait, what, I'm so... We're just taking that thing off. This, yeah. this white thing? Yeah. So carefully work it in the edges. Just put your finger in there once it lifts. Yeah, and then I go to the other side. That thin fingers. <laughs> it's just, it's just you know. there you go. Golly! Um, you can try pulling it gently. If it doesn't come, then there should be a little. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Here's the old one right here, and it was plugged in on the end, just like this one. Here's the new one, and it's plugged in down there. This has a little LED diode in there, so uh, it's all yours. Your camera's at 8%. Just plug it pop in. it in? Yep. So so make sure you plug in the cable first. Yeah, yeah. I'm no expert. You might not have been able to tell by now. But I do know. I don't know where I was going with that. But you plug that in the easy. cable first? Yeah, of course I plugged <laughs> the cable in. I'm not an idiot. Nice. Good job. So there we are. Installed nicely and now I wait till nighttime open up the door and look at that you have a beautiful looking puddle light I personally wanted him to put a Mustang puddle light on All right, let's see these projectors at night You're gonna transition that right or am I gonna just look like a fool standing here? <laughs> yeah <laughs> As soon as you open the door you're greeted by the beautiful mini logo Okay, I admit it looks better than a Mustang one would. Should we get it back to daytime? Yes, take it away. All right, so next up, we are gonna install the LCI2 JCW side indicators that go right here on the car. Now, I already did that a few days ago because it was super easy and I had some time to kill. So we'll cut to that clip right now. All right, so we're gonna get rid of these uh, old indicators on the edge and we're gonna replace them with LCI2 ones. They look like this right here. So this is super easy, just need a trim tool. You just encourage them out around the edge. You might not even need a trim tool, let's see. There we go. Nope, didn't even need a trim tool. So we're just gonna disconnect this here, put the new one on, and uh, voila, we should be set to go. To remove it, you just push down right here, and then you pull it. All right, so we're just gonna connect the connector. Just like that. Doesn't that look gorgeous? And that was super quick in like two seconds. Where you can do the same to the other side, and you just have to code them with trimmer code or someone to remote in and code it for you, and you should be good. All right, so now we're gonna test the side indicator. So I got Jake there to press the hazards button so we can check on both sides. Yeah, the easiest part of the video right here. Look at that, that looks so much better than what was there before. Letting Jake here learn how to get pops. <laughs> Five thousand 
at RPM. <laughs> going well those are the three easiest mods you can do on any mini cooper we'll put the links for everything down in the description below and check them out we really appreciate it as it helps support the channel but most of all like and subscribe and have an amazing rest of your day hopefully he comes back oh look at that beast it looks absolutely fantastic and those led lights the antenna at the top Top of the car. What? <laughs> I forgot we had stuff on the top of the car. <laughs> Where'd it go? <laughs> I guess we might have to go find some stuff down the road now. <laughs>